thanks for the for the raiding. So yeah. So all right. Um, what am I doing? I am in the in the depths. Uh, I think beneath Joppa somewhere. We're like just hanging out down here. I think I should probably get out of here at some point. Like, we've been here for a bit. So, what we're probably going to do is we're just going to do a nice little Joppa recoil. And, uh, yeah. So, right now, you know, let's just do a little bit just just a little bit of further dungeon exploration just to get into it and uh, then, then we're gonna go out again and have some fun level 16 oh yeah we are I don't know which quest are we actually at okay we are going for gridgate but you know being level 16 before you even go to gridgate it's pretty neat um all right. I still don't know what I'm going to go for in terms of um, whether I do shield or two-handed, you know. What build is this? Yeah, I'm. I don't know either. I'm just doing true kin cudgel right now, just running around, bashing things in the head with a two-handed carbide warhammer, you know, like just fun things you do on a. On a Thursday, generally. You know what? I think we're gonna go for this. Um, just to have the steady hands, why not? Um, and with the other stuff. You know what? Let's get. Shake it off. Let's get a, a few of the utility skills going, right? Right. Okay. All right, so, let me see. Arconaut, sure. So right now we're just kind of aimlessly bungling around the underground, which is fun. But uh, yeah, I'm probably just going to do a few more maps of this. And uh, what kind of tinkerer are you? Rifle turret, that's fine. Hey, buddy. Get lasered, thank you. Did I murder you? Did I actually murder you? I think I did. Okay, so... Yeah, I think we're just going to do a few more maps of this. And then... And we're just going to recoil back to, to Joppa with our nice little... Joppa Recoiler. I am in the beta, yes. I am playing the Tomb of the Eaters beta. Have been for quite some time. You know, just when I opted into the beta was basically kind of when it just came out. Um, I actually made it to the Tomb of the Eaters, and into the Tomb of the Eaters, but everything went, like the game just kind of went haywire on me in there, and it, uh, it went terribly wrong. <laughs> and I just, I essentially just had to abandon the run, which, which is fine, you know, like it's a beta, kind of expect that. But something went wrong with the the recall bells that happens there, and it didn't play well with the things. Yeah, that happened, and uh, yeah, I mean that was kind of nice. It has been updated a ton, I know. Um, in the recent month or so, I haven't played that much of the game. Oh, there's a gelatinous wedge, no problem. I haven't played that much of the game. Oh, hey, Bamba Boozler. Nice seeing you, and thank you for hosting. Any way to increase compute power other than modded helmets? I don't know. Sorry, I actually don't know. Uh, 
Oh, we got a good old... Oh no. Oh, that was just my thermoelectric cell. Um, yeah, I've been I've been a little... The communication interlocks cybernetic. That, that sounds like it makes sense. Thank you. Um, yeah, I've been kind of a bit out of the loop on Cave of Cut recently. I haven't really followed where the game was going, and I haven't played it all that much. So, in terms of sort of what's currently going on, uh, I'm not a good, I'm not a good source of, for information. Sorry about that, but uh, you know, kind of getting back in it right now. Also with the with the whole streaming thing, you know. Just didn't play many games at all recently, which is not a bad thing. But yeah. All right. Okay. One compute power item immediately lost it to a bug. Yeah. I I have no idea how the whole compute power thing works actually. So uh, I am very intrigued by that, and we're probably going to find out. Let me see. Let's just quickly. Preserve, cook from a recipe. What do we have? Oh yeah, that's that's fine. Let's do that one. And go somewhere. Can we go north here? Yeah, we can. Mm-hmm. Oops, there's a micro turret over there. Let's quickly take out the maggots and all the assorted critters here before we... Oh, the... Interesting, why is the micro turret gone? There's a chain gun turret up there. We're really not equipped to not get shredded to pieces by it. So, should probably be careful about that. Some bronze ingots that we can pick up, which is nice. Oh... Ooh, a Glittermensch Brainer figurine made out of topaz. Hmm, we're finding the, the fine arts down here. To microchip. Okay, I think this is going to be the last map. Um, good thing is we do have the electromagnetic scanner, so we don't need to worry too much about getting blindsided by chain gun turrets or anything. So I'm going to try to... Keep away from that thing over there. All right. While exploring this, it seems to be behind some solid walls, anyways. Okay, folks. What we're going to do is we're going to finally. Oh yeah, right. The Gat of the Sacred Scroll. What did that do again? Plus one intelligence. Hmm. Okay. Where's my Jopper recoiler? Where's my job of recoiler tools? Yeah, there we go. Uh, b -b 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 install a cell. We're gonna put in... Let's put in a solar cell so we can do that. Yes, too many runs end in a chain gun around the corner. Indeed. And, uh, you know, they stop being much of a problem later on. But right now, also... Let's just make that a little bit smaller. No, it's not. I have actually two negative spheres, so it's still minus 10. Oh yeah, you have the canticles. Did I get your quest? I don't think I did. Thank you. Give me your quest. All right. There's still the water wheel that miraculously works without this being flowing water, which I'm a big fan of. Um, what do you have? Oh. A data disk for visage. Fire support grenade, stasis grenade. What's the fire support grenade? Does this create a turret that shoots things for you? It's kind of neat. Yeah, makes sense. Now that I think about it, I might have actually had one of these before and tried it. I just forgot. Because my brain is pretty much a colander, which is very good for this. An endless spring there flowing down the crack. 
and forming the underground channel. You know what? That actually makes a lot of sense. I mean, I'm going to accept that that explanation. Okay, so before we go for this, um, let's remove this. Let's put on the Norwem skull to just, you know, build ourselves up a little for the trading. A slime stained glow sphere. Hmm. Okay, so let me see. Do you have anything that I would want? Is the question. Not really. Not really, not really. Yeah. Uh, okay, we're going to keep the artifact, obviously. That was just a random artifact lying around in the underground, which is pretty neat. Um, we have five bronze ingots. That's a lot of weight, but it's fine. Like, we're not running into inventory limitations, so. I think we can just. I think we can just move on. Painted carbide battle axe. Two handed carbide hammer. I might actually buy the one handed. Um, the one handed carbide hammer. Because, uh, you know? Just so we have it. If we need to use a one handed weapon by any chance. So that would be. And that would be all right. Okay, let me see. What are we doing? Uh, we haven't done the historic site yet, so we might just go there. Where's the other one? Oh, the other one is way north. It's up here. It's going to take us a while until we get there. Um, but that's cool. We're going to do that later. It's also in the mountains, so it's going to be pretty hard to actually get there. I don't know. We're gonna see. Um, so how about... I think the thing that makes the most sense right now is to just go to the historic site and explore that a little. And essentially get ourselves killed there, because that's how that thing usually works. So, uh, let's do that. Let's go. Let's go do some archaeology. Which in this game mostly means killing a lot of things. Which is alright. Nanip! Visit Nanip. Do we know what we can find here? Um, no. It's just Nanip, right? Yeah. And there is baboons here. Mmm, baboons. Hello? What kind of baboon are you? <laughs> Ten-ringed baboon. Awesome. Oof! Always safe and never 15... I know. I know. At least the, the first historic site is usually not that bad. Um, I've had some bad run-ins in other ones. You know, like you can meet things there that you wouldn't at the height that you are at, essentially. Okay, uh, we have a bunch of ringed baboons here, which is... Uh, oh shit, I, I should not be asleep here. Um, the ringed baboons, oh, if we had, if we had a lot of cr crazy weak or strong enemies, indeed. It, it kind of depends, right? Like, historic sites will have a selection of enemies, and they can be super rough. Um, they can be, like, super high-level enemies that are way beyond where you would usually find them. But, uh, yeah... So we get a lot of ringed baboons here. Ringed baboons are amazing sort of like dominate companions. You know, like proselytize and uh, yeah, you definitely want that. Like, it's crazy how good that is. Um, but since we cannot actually beguile or proselytize, my with the Putus Templar increased. Oh good, no. I don't want to be friends with those folks. Definitely not. But yeah, the baboons are amazing if you do a beguiling build. Uh, finding ringed baboons and being able to convert them to your side is essentially a jackpot. Because uh, they have intense... Decreased? Really? Oh, I thought... Maybe I was just... Uh, what's my factions things? No, that's tinkering. F, there. F for factions, that makes sense. 
Um, Putus Templar. Oh yeah, it decreased. <laughs> uh, we're off to a good, great start, folks. We're off to a fantastic start. So now they hate me. I, I am fine with that. Need to be careful if we run across, um, you know, random groups of Putus Templar. Which is the case anyways, if you're not playing Trukin, right? So, fuck them anyways. Doesn't matter. Folded Carmite Battle Axe. Two-handed. Mm. Um, you know what? Let's collect that. Tunic. An albino monkey blade. You know, let's just get that. Weird artifact. What do we have? A booster gun. Um, yeah. We can shoot love injectors at things. Which... I don't know. Or whatever injector. Alright. But yeah, this historic site seems fine so far. So let us explore the rest of this. Gonna be a few ring baboons that we're gonna murder. Ah, now this makes me wish that I was playing a beguiling domination build. You know, like playing that with with a ringed baboon as your companion is probably the single most powerful build I've ever had. And not powerful for the main character, but uh, mm. let's see whether we are locked in a. They have immense stats, like they have like over forty strength or something like that, and like throughout everything, they have like immense strength and toughness and everything. They have like three hundred health at level one or something like that. Um. Yeah, legendary snapdolls also can also be pretty good, indeed. Especially if they are from the, they're not from the normal snapdolls, but from the bigger snapdolls. But um, if you have one of these and they level up pretty quickly, right? Because they start at level one usually. Um, you will, like, they become a tank. They become absolute, incredibly powerful. Yeah, it's basically the domination thing. The one thing that I never figured out back when I was not a fan of domination builds is that you can just use... Like, the the power of the domination skill is something that I wasn't completely aware of. I didn't know that you could, for example, sk uh, skip maps, change maps with, the, with your dominated companion and just clear out maps which you can absolutely do with these baboons, for example. Like if you... Oops, yeah. Uh, where are you, hostiles? Okay. Um, if you level up like a baboon companion to, I don't know, level 20 or something, they become so incredibly powerful. Like I've just... You know, like with a baboon companion, I ran up to a chrome pyramid and just hacked that thing to pieces, not using any tactics or anything. Like it is, um, it's intense. <laughs> Cook from a recipe. Let's do that. It's not the best one. We should probably make some more recipes soon. Hey, buddy, let me take a look at your faction stuff. Hated by Tashef, or hated by robots. Oh yes, hello. You are gonna die. I'm sorry about that, but you are gonna... I definitely want that robot reputation. No way around that. Okay. Do need to be careful not to get ourselves murdered here, yeah? but uh... Yeah, that works. Tashef, robots increased by 215. 215 is pretty good. Quartz baboons. Yeah, quartz baboons are also nice, but the ringed baboons is what you actually want. Like, you can do quartz baboons. Very nice. They start at uh, level 15. Yeah. 
Um. Mm, 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 mm. What did I want to do? I wanted to check my faction reputation and see how we are doing with robots. How we get? Uh, oops. No. Our robots. Yeah, we're still hostile. That's fine. I wasn't expecting anything else. But I do want to get the robot reputation to at least neutral. Hated by hermits and dogs. Poisoning the freshwater of hermits. That's a that's a asshole thing to do. And you sowed the fields of dogs with salt. I cannot abide by that. You know, you need to go down, buddy. Are you the same person? Yeah, you are. Buddy. Wait. Ah, oh, that might have... Oh no, don't fall asleep, please. Ah, too many urchins. Do you have an urchin thing? Okay, let's just take out a few of these. Of these normal smaller baboons here, so that we have a little rabble to deal with. Hey, buddies. Let's just do some electro bowing here. Too kind of bad. Like, these folks are presumably just hanging out here, you know? Ah, oh, there's another one. Let me see. Oh, ho, e, okay, that's that. Oh, there's even more. Uh, hated by villagers, yeah, not interested in that. Hated by succulents, that's decent. We're going, we're going to get some nice. Okay, where are you? Right over there. Okay, hermits. Mm-hmm. Dogs. So we might get some decent reputation out of this. So that's cool. Especially if there are more. A boon boss enemies downstairs okay all right which is likely I'm not I don't I haven't looked into how it actually works but uh, I think the historic sites they are they are it's better when you're downstairs and there isn't as much free space for for them to run away to but uh, Consortium of Fighter, okay, and also hated by succulents for impersonating one of their leaders. I don't know how you did that with a ghillie suit or something like that, probably. Mm hmm, sure. Let's rest up a little. Ah, come on, alright. Succulents increased. Good. Wait, what? Is that just a nylon body pack? Yes, it is. Okay, let's explore the rest of this map. Mm. Another drowsy, drowsing urchin. Don't like you. Oh, God. Yeah. Caught in the loop again. Alright, time to eat again, because we spent so much time sleeping and waking up. I like this must be crazy. Like, this is the weirdest night you've ever had. Alright, let's go down. Let us go down, let's see. Oops. There's something? Hamlet of Shard. Action cue, inconsistency, removing invalid object. Okay, something went wrong on the back end here, but, um, you know... That just happens. We will never know what exactly it was. Which is probably for the better. Okay. There is a bunch of statues here that I want to take a look at. Uturishid? Sure. With more baboons. And I'm not looking forward to fighting all of these baboons constantly. But, alas. 
That's what we need to do. Okay, that's just, oh, that's three statues. What are you? Oshid. Okay, give me that, that sweet, sweet Sultan lore. Um, I think we need to actually bash through the fences here. Yeah? Fungi side grenade, sure, I'll take that. What do I have in the thrown weapon slot? Nothing. Should probably put something there. What kind of grenades do I have? I have a stun gas, thermal, poison gas. Let's take the thermal for now. All right, and what are you? Utum. No, wife, Oshid, wife of Utum. There's some rubble here. Kind of like the new, the new tile for the rubble. You know, it looks like marbles. Hey, buddy. All right. Okay. Ah, here we go. What do we have? Disliked by trolls, hated by barathromites. Okay. And you, hated by cannibals, disliked by the farmer's guild, and will just be poor. That's good. You know, the cool thing about having lots of bosses at a historic site is always that the negative reputation that you get is usually just by the culture that you are just murdering anyways. And that's just cause of sure. Hated by robots! Yeah, awesome! Okay, we're gonna get neutral with robots, folks. I am very excited about that. Just need to... where's that urchin? Okay, I'm just gonna thin out the the group a little. Now you're sleeping. Bad move. All right. The one cool thing about the baboons is that they don't really swarm you with robots. All oh, right. And oozes. Oh, getting good with robots and oozes. Amazing. Let me see. So robots is definitely. But let's take a look at the oozes. Oozes. Yeah, mine's 340, but uh, we're getting there. And uh, yeah, that minus 60 for robots. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. That is super helpful. That is especially super helpful if you go to the like the deep underground. And uh, when you, you know, like one of the things, one of the, one of the, the oh shit I got one hit killed things is either like rocket turrets they can fuck you up like and they will fuck you up if you're not extremely careful um, and uh, like in the deep deep underground you have stuff like swarm turrets and uh, that shit will just that's just rough trolls that's also good ah give me all that reputation we're just reputation farming at this point Okay, what do we no that was a oh, it's just a carbide dagger but that's fine we're gonna pick that up okay hmm. cannibals farmers guild mm -hmm. Good, there's more. There's more. Tart sandals of the river wives. Okay. 50 named cultists. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's always good when you find the good stuff in this game. It's also good that you don't constantly find the good stuff. So. When you get it, what's going on in there? Well, you never know. Maybe it's better that you don't know. Okay, what is even going on here? So we have fungicide, and they're just killing the mushrooms down here. Which, fair. Disliked by goat folk, hated and disliked by bears. So we're gonna get double reputation here. Refusing them entrance to a local library, that's a shitty thing to do. Local libraries should not discriminate. 
uh, and selling a map of their worlds to adventurers. Yeah, you've just been an asshole to bears. Like, uh uh. Goat folk increased, bears increased, bears increased again. So we might actually be good with bears now. Let us destroy that tattoo then. Uh, we can get the copper nugget, why not? Where are we at? Yeah, we are. We are carrying stuff and it's fine. Alright, okay. Let's get rid of more of these baboons. In this interesting area here. I don't know what kind of floor this is. Oh, there's nothing good in the weapon rack. Usually there isn't. The weapon racks are never good in this game. Hated by swine. The villagers of Bivar. Sure. Come on. Alright. Give me that reputation. Color battle axe and a star apple. I was just about to have lunch. Okay, we need to rest up again. Mm-hmm. Okay, more fungi side. They're just they're just not about mushrooms down here. Just not a fan of mushrooms. Can we get... Oh, there's nothing behind the rubble. It doesn't matter. Oh, there's a trash monk. Hey. I know that wasn't a nice move on my part, but I'm not about the nice moves. And another booster gun. You can't disassemble those, huh? Okay. Already have a booster gun. It's fine. You don't need another one. All right. Jesus! I'm like plus three, minus three, plus three, minus three, plus three. Yep. Frowning moon mask. Um, hmm. Oh yeah, gentling cone. What did that do? Minus one ego. Uh-huh. I'm not going to even pick that up so I don't even accidentally equip it. So, I have my own face that I'm wearing on my face. But since we're not really... Thank you! <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, but since I'm not using Ego generally, we're going to keep our own face, although I do want to eat that at some point. But uh, let's put on the Frowning Moon Mask for now. You know? It's one of these things that you just do in order to say that you've done it. And that is eating your own face. I still think we might run into some trouble about eating human flesh. We might be in kind of a cannibal situation once we do that, but uh, we're gonna see. We're gonna see. All right, let's go down. Okay. Cracked lens, sure. Oh, sprouting orb, fine. There's so many baboons. I, I'm just here for the baboon bosses. For the ringed baboons. Come on. Right. Hmm. Shoot crab. That's fine. Not wearing your own face. Yeah. Like, I'm wearing my own face on my face, you know? I've regrown my face. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> like the mask from Oblivion. Mm hmm. Getting pelleted with stones here. I'm not actually sure if having your face dismembered on its own does something to your ego. Probably should. Now we're confused. Okay, there is a mental boss somewhere around here. Oh yeah, there you are. So let me take a look at you. Unshelled Reptiles, that's also a good one. Being good with Unshelled Reptiles is not a bad. 
There's a few unshelled reptiles in the game that are a pain to deal with at certain stages, so... Yep. Good. Let me take a look at the reputation. Villagers, vines, um, unshelled reptiles. Yeah, still minus 255. We're not in the goods yet, but, uh, you know, getting closer to that. Let me take a look at you. Villagers of Ezra. Okay, if we ever get there, they will like us for murdering a random baboon somewhere, wherever. Okay, let me just quickly go... Ah, you're coming after me. It's the last mistake you will ever do. Ever make. Do. Jesus. Let me see, raw bear meat, okay. I'm not friends with bears. Which is cool. I love bears. Bears are such cool animals. And they're so cute, but... You know, it's like, maybe don't try to pet them is what I'm saying. Water barons, mysterious strangers. Okay. Oh, there's four of you. What are these folks doing here? Hated by newly sentient beings. Hmm. <laughs> Releasing snakes into one of their camps. Yeah, that's just not. Um, eavesdropping on their secret ceremonies. Uh. Barathrumites do not like that. Disliked by urchins. There's an urchin right there. But the urchin is indoctrinated into the cult, so... Uh, bollocks. Okay, let's get out of here. Just... Wear off the confusion a little bit. Baby bears, I actually... Yeah. They look so... Yeah, they look so huggable. But you probably do not want to be hugged by a bear. Ah, I love bears. I have a vivid memory of um, seeing a grizzly bear at a zoo and the grizzly bear just had a bunch of carrots in front of it and it was just slowly picking out carrots, eating the carrots. It was the best thing I've ever seen. It was a huge grizzly bear, but um, yeah. Mysterious strangers. Meanwhile, just fucking mowing down the baboons here. Like this is just a just a fucking massacre here. It's just it's just bad. Oh fuck! I'm in the falling asleep state again. Okay. All right. Urchins. Okay. I guess I'm just not much of a role player when I'm playing Case of Card, because I constantly find myself in situations such as this one, where it becomes really hard for me to defend my actions. <laughs> or maybe I'm just always role playing as a fucking monster, you know? Um, chew a cook from a recipe. Here we go. Whenever you drink, oh yeah, that's that one. Um, yeah, it is kind of nice if we find ourselves with a bad status effect, but let's not drop down there. Would we'll be fine. The stairs are pretty close, but I do still want to, you know. Let's finish this map first. Oh, there's just nothing here. Like all the baboons were just packing. Uh, just packed into that one room and everything else is empty. Okay, let's go down. Let's go down. Explore this. There's the baboon already coming after me. Hmm. Now let me take a look at you. A fungi. Ah, getting good with fungi, also very good, because that means that the fungi will not... Fungi? Fun guy? Very fun guys. Um, that they will not 
release their spores if you get close. Hated by pariahs. Mm. Okay. Increased by 210. Let me just take a quick look. Cannibals, dogs, fungi. Yeah, 210. We are already all right with fungi. Oh yeah, oh yeah. There is a certain amount of tedium involved in... Oh, dislike by bears for eating all their fruit. You don't do that to bears. Not on my watch. Okay. Okay, and there's another one. Let me take a look at you. It, oh, that was the pariah one. Oh, baboon fighting. It's like by mollusks. Okay. Yeah, you run back here. I'm just hunting these folks down. It's a, it's a bad scene. It's a very bad scene. All right. Hmm, there's another one. Oh, that's, again, the pariah one. Okay. Come here, buddy. Whatever you did to my friends at the pariahs. <laughs> Just takes forever. I'm gonna be glad when I'm out here. On entering Kerr, the PC is infected with a brain fungus that makes them the player character, yeah. That makes them want to get high up to spread spores. Mm-hmm. Sounds good. That is a bit of head cannon that I can get behind. All right, illuminated sponge shimmers. Oh. oh no, urchins. So these are not the urchins. These are indoctrinated urchins. The vine reaper. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think we don't need to fight everything here. I do want to get those books. Nameless gods and fold the fabric. Ooh, these are the good books, folks. These are the great books. Ones that everybody should have on their bookshelves. Let me just quickly check this guy. Disliked by crabs. Ooh, crabs are also a good one. Being friendly with crabs, it's good times. How's our electro bow doing? Chem cell is low, okay. Are you the crab ones? Uh, yeah, I think there were more hulking baboons. Ringed baboons, I mean. Jesus. It's late in Australia. Ooh, yeah, cool. Um, thank you for tuning in, Chivney. It's always a pleasure to see you. An RL library of randomly generated code books. That would be... Like if I was a millionaire and didn't need to worry about money and was just looking for some extremely frivolous thing. You know, just something that is actually morally wrong to do if you're a millionaire because there's other things you should do with that money and power. However, disregarding all of that, that would be a project. Um, that I could get behind. Okay. Mm, that's it for the Electro Bow. Let's put in 
Yeah, I'm just gonna put put in a normal ass cancel. Robots increased again. Cannibals, not that into us anymore. Uh. That sleep gas just never dissipates, doesn't it? It stays here forever. Okay, there are more folks here. Hated by the Mopango and disliked by equines. Okay. Yeah, I have a long and torrid relationship with the equines of Cud. Let's not think about that. What I commonly do to them. It's just murdering, nothing uh, more untoward, but uh, just murdering. <laughs> nothing actually terrible. Okay. I didn't eat all their fruits, is what I mean, you know? One of the things that is actually actionable in this world. Okay. Casually, every day. Casual, everyday run-of-the-mill murder, says Bamboozler, and indeed, that is what I'm talking about. That's how this world works. Okay, let's get rid of that urchin. Uh, the combination of baboons that constantly run away and sleep gas urchins is just... Uh, this makes this a relatively unpleasant thing. Okay, there's a crab boss. Hated by urchins. Mm -hmm. you, have some, you have some urchins for insulting their friends. That's not a nice thing to do. Disliked by some villagers. Okay, buddy. We're gonna go down. I'm confused again. It's fine, we're in melee with one enemy. Stun for the turn, that's not fine. Um, is already injured. I should probably start using my skills. It's generally a good idea. What do I have again? Right. Kind of just slam and conk. Yeah. Also, I can see that on the on the UI now, which um, I apparently have not gotten used to yet. Dumping a water skin of salt on a freshwater weep. Irredeemable. That is indeed irredeemable. Have you done that before? Just in between us, you know. Nobody needs to know. The fridge. Oh yeah, cybernetic credits. That's good. The frigid shield of Nanip. Shield b b b successfully block an attack. It's a 2 and minus 3. Gives us some cold resistance and it increases the chance to block with shields. Are we gonna go with shields? I'm still... That would be crazy. Okay. I'm gonna believe you. Although it was suspiciously specific. Get the glow sphere. Let's get the copper nugget. Should we do shields and one-handed? Oh, mimic. Uh, are we in good shape? Yeah, we are. Let's shoot the mimic a few times. Mimic looks like a campfire, which is just ridiculous. And uh, that's that. All right. No further down, isn't there? No? We are done with the historic site. We found the artifact. We are good. Oopsie daisy. I've just Windows keyed my game. My keyboard actually has a gamer mode. <laughs> Which turns off the Windows keys. Actually useful. Like that's the one stupid gamer thing that my keyboard has, but it is actually useful. I don't have RGB lights, though. 
Got a bunch of cold resistance, indeed. You know, it's not gonna be stacking up with a Zeta Chrome Shield or something like that, but, uh, you know. I'm lost. Okay. Where am I? Just somewhere in the desert canyons. Oh, hello. Uh, hey, buddy. Baited by Beetles for poisoning their fresh water. Yeah, that was a shitty thing to do. I did not know that Beetles relied on fresh water. I must admit. But if they do, that's just not cool. Oh, bollocks, we're actually taking some damage here. What's going on? Why are we not doing any damage? Why do I need multiple hits on snap jaws to kill them? Something is not right here. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that was probably it, right? Huh. Whoopsie daisy. Okay, let's try that again. And we are hungry. There are no hostiles nearby. Get out of here. Choose ingredients. I think we should choose ingredients again. Okay, what do we have? We can't cook with lava. Which is... Um, you know what? Let's do beetle jerky. Let's do some of the pickled mushrooms. And maybe vine wafer. Let's see if we can make a recipe for... Yeah, this one. I know the the second buff is not the good one, but I do want this one. So we can actually get ready for fungus biomes. Okay. Let's try that again. Okay, I'm doing some decent damage. Okay. All right. Can't have it all. Good. Ah, this has a fidget cell in it. Okay, let's take the cell out. We're gonna disassemble the stun rod. Always disassemble stun rods. More reshef, good. Oops. Look at my phone. All right. How long have I been going? Okay. Why am I here in the desert? Oh yeah, I'm lost, right. Oh, still lost. Let's take a little bit of a look around. Change a few maps. Hey, you are not good for experience. Oh, well, still kind of, right? Zap them out of the sky. All right. What are you? Was there a thing over there? I think I missed something here. Hello, safe sloth. Just. Vomiting rainbows into my chat, which I can accept, you know, of all the substances that someone could vomit into my chat. That is at least. one of the less. icky ones. Okay. Still not regained our bearings, I think. Nope. I hate being lost. It's just never a fun time. Okay. You 
Yeah, right. Also, auto exploration will now automatically look at. That's something that they've changed, which is nice. Um, it will now actually look at engraved and painted items. Like this. Oh, a new quest. Okay, we don't know where it is. It's just we know that there is an artifact. Okay. Good. Just hanging out in the desert canyons is not my idea of a good time right now. Okay. Just froze himself with a freeze grenade. Good times. Hated by cannibals, disliked by equines. Sure. There we go. It's just a, like cannibals and I. That's just a big ol' sinus curve at this point. Okay. They hate me, they like me, they hate me. Regain your bearings. Thank you very much. Where are we? Oh, well, we went places. Okay, let's go to the rest of the archway. Oh, there's a chain gun turret over there. Need to be careful about that. We're gonna do the rusted archway. Is anything cracked that I have? Why am I at seven again? Yeah, my steel gauntlets, okay. I absolutely need better armor. Should probably do another underground exploration at some point. Oh, copper and silver, nice. Canned mystery meat. Mm hmm. It's one of these things. You shouldn't eat that. Okay, this is maybe two chain gun turrets. Probably a chain gun and a rifle turret or something like that. The electromagnetic sensor is pretty... Also, I forgot that I'm not hostile with robots, so I think... Oh, I think we cannot actually get in there. Can we slam through here? Yeah, they will not attack me, which is nice. Um, forgot about that. Good. I'm going to leave them there. There's no reason to attack them right now. But, yeah. I only need to attack them if I wish to. That's very good. Yeah, get him being good with robots is fantastic. Just one of these things, you know? Like, it's not necessarily part of the Ascension kit, but it is something that is tremendously helpful. Okay. All right, let's go down. Okay. We're gonna do quickly the rusted archway because I want to take a look at the cybernetic stuff that we might get here. You know? Hello, folks. Don't worry about me. Some of the hermits are now after me. I think because I killed the squirrel, right? Yeah. Not a squirrel, it uh skunk. Skunk. Not exactly the same thing. It's a bad time if you confuse the two. Potentially. Okay. Uh, more drag loots? Sure. How many tubers am I actually lugging around at this point? 20. I definitely need to make a stash in Joker. Also a bunch of weird artifacts. Electrifying iron. Let's take out the cell. Um, drop that. Siphon bait. Baton. 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 It's a cudgel. 
Apparently we can siphon something. Life force? Are we gonna heal ourselves if we attack with that? It is certainly intriguing. We need to keep the siphon baton for now. Thermo grenade, yeah, sure. Okay. High chief hermit. Nope. Yeah, the hermits are just after me now. They're just fuck that guy. All right, I think it's time to go down. Okay. All right. Lots of balls for some reason. Don't we have but we have butchering off? That's not good. What was that? This one. I think my main problem is that I have the butcher corpses toggle right next to my make campfire key. So that's that's why I sometimes will turn it off. Maybe I should rethink that. But I'm just not into doing that kind of administrative work right now. So So I will never do it and I will always have that problem. That's how these things usually work, you know? You know. Alright, so you need to get lasered. Okay, here we go. Or whatever an electro bow shoots actually. I'm not quite sure about that. Only a way to find out if I look at it. Okay. Folded carmite short sword. I'm just gonna pick that one up because why not? No. Famished. That's not good. Let's do that. Preserve your fresh foods. Choose ingredients to cook with. Let's do. Let's do something else. Let's do bear jerky. And that is. Sorry, that is my doorbell. One moment.
Here we go. All right. Okay. Always turn on your microphone. Okay, what are we doing? Um, yes, cooking. That's what we're doing. I have so much nonsense. I have a lot of jerkies. Tons of jerkies. Um, you know, let's just do the classic cook. Right, I don't, I'm not inspired right now, so we're actually not doing that. Okay, let's go down. Let's go down. Mm, more dreadful tubers. And probably once we're done here, I don't know if we're gonna go directly for Gridgate. You know what? Yeah, I think we're going to go directly to Gridgate um, just so we can get a Gridgate recoiler. And we're probably, I'm going to make a stash in Gridgate. Probably gonna make a stash in Gridgate. Problem is at some point Gridgate is gonna be attacked. So we need to have that in, keep that in mind. But um, yeah. Why am I going to, I'm going to make the stash and chopper? It doesn't really matter. You know, once we have the recoilers, we can just teleport back and forth willy-nilly. The, the cells is never really a problem. You will always have enough cells. So. Not always, but... Uh, the game will throw plenty of cells at you, so yeah, let's go further down. There's the chest with the credits. I'm going to take that. Right, so we have four credits, I think. Let's see what kind of. Yeah, there's the, the fire snout that you always find here. Let's see what kind of good stuff we find. Schemas of rifles, okay. Mm. Stabilizer arm locks, that is for accuracy with ranged attacks. Yeah, right. That's kind of neat, actually. Um, if we don't find anything super great, I might actually use that. Poison gas, gas grenades MK2. That is nice, because that's not that hard to come by. You might actually be able to build them at some point. And this is ultra elastic ankle tendons. Gives us plus 10 move speed, which is also good. Three license points. That might not be enough for everything that we want, but uh, let me take a look. Okay, let's take a look at this. We're gonna upgrade our license first. Oh, I'm on, yeah, I'm only using one point so far. Ah, I'm a little sneezy right now. Mm -hmm. Again. It is like allergy stuff. So. <laughs> it's getting, the summer is getting to the point where it's too warm. It's just unpleasant. Okay. Apparently. Okay, I see what's going on. What usually, what's the problem with the, for some reason. Okay, I need to actually take a look at that. This is sort of why this has been weird because my movement actually also scrolls the message window. <laughs> okay, uh, stabilize our arm locks. I'm gonna put that into our left arm. Ultra elastic ankle tendons. We're going to put that into our feet so that we can move faster. Right, so we're kind of kitted out now. Awesome. And we are better at shooting, which is also great. So our agility 20. So we have an agility bonus of five for, for shooting. That's good. Snake skin armlet. Oh yeah. Also jewel encrusted. Uh, what am I using? Compass bracelet and fidget cell right now. Okay, I'm going to put on the snake skin armlet on one. Compass bracelet on the other one. 
not getting the full dodge value out of it, which is fine. Um, we're also not really going for dodge value, but you know, better to have it than to not have it, is what I always say. All right, okay, so anything down here? No. So let's wait 30 turns. Slam in here. Hello, friends. I'm just here to hang out. Don't you worry. My explosive disassemble. I should not have disassembled, whatever. Fractured microchip. Sure. Disassemble everything. Just MK1, not what we're looking for. Desert rifle. Uh, I might equip that actually. Another glow sphere, just picking that up for shits and giggles. Wow. I've just been running around with the Gnomeworm Skull. Wait, the Electro Bow, it was the Electro Bow that allowed me to see. Right, the Electro Bow is also a light source. Uh, does it actually say that? I didn't actually... Yeah, of light. Wow, that was not... I, I might have known that at some point, but I wasn't aware. Cool. Cool, cool. And we can just put on the Miner's Helmet again, although the light source of the Electro Ball seems to be better. Seems to actually be better than the... yeah. I'm still kind of bummed that we lost the night vision, but... you know. Okay. Now that we're done here, got some good cybernetics. That's neat. It's very neat. Um... And that means that we're now just gonna go to Gridgate. Just quickly. To get that over with. Right? We're gonna go to Gridgate. We're gonna finish that. We're hopefully gonna buy a Gridgate recoiler. I think they always have Gridgate recoilers at Gridgate. Um, I think I never once had it that they didn't. So. Yeah. So we're gonna buy a grid gate recoiler and we're gonna go back. Probably gonna go back to Joppa, make a little bit of a stash there, a little bit of stash o stuff there. Um and maybe check out whether Argive has any good data disks, stuff like that. And uh I don't know what we're gonna do then. Something. We might actually do some underground exploration beneath here. Yeah. Don't know if I'm actually going to go to the ruins or if I'm going to do it from Gridgate, but um, yeah. The ruins is always... It's kind of always how I get myself killed, so I need to be very careful about that. Alright. Lots of centipedes down here. Some kind of battle going on here. Oh, um, probably just one of the way droids. Freeze grenade MK1. Alright. Sure. Let's have a trail of slime. Painted steel warhammer. Copper knight. Sure. Now we're kind of getting up there in terms of weight, so it's time we made stash and did some inventory management. Right, buddy. Okay. All right. So, let me see. Okay, there is the infiltrator. 
That means the Templar is somewhere around here as well. He's not gonna like me, which is fine. Fuck the Templars. And something has already destroyed the Infiltrator. Yeah, probably gonna get destroyed by the Waydroids. Hmm. Sturdy chainmail. No, what we have is still better. I definitely need better armor and stuff. Well, it's got teleported. That hurt. Jesus. Oh, you're dead. Okay. Templar Squire. Killed the Templar Squire. Okay, so we have an engraved Carmite. That is the steel plate mail. So the, the shield artifact that we have is just a steel shield, and that's not great. Um, I think I'm not going to go for the steel plate just yet. I'm going to switch to plate armor. Or maybe I should. I was thinking about only doing that with carbide. Because the one more... But you know what? Let's go full armor. I think I'm going to take the steel plate. Cook from recipe. Let's do the basic one. Here we go. Let's do it. Whatever. Let's do it. Chitin vest. I think it's probably not worth it. Whatever. Whatever. I'm going to do armor over everything. Just completely. Okay. Let's go down. Three strata deep, so we need to go one further. No. It's already at, at three deep? Oh. I'm in a bad position here. Carefully. All right, okay. Hmm. Let's rest up. But I'm probably going to stop for today once I... Uh, once I am... At Gridgate and have done all the administration work. Essentially means inventory management and making a stash, getting the recoilers, doing all of that stuff. And then, uh, yeah. And then that's gonna be it for now. It's fine. Streaming long enough. Which is not that long, you know. I've done like three, four hour streams with Caves of Cad, but right now. Not really a thing I can do that easily. Okay, Steel Buckler. Steel Buckler is good. Um, what are we oh, at 180? I think I'm going to get basic shield skills. At least for the bucklering. And if I decide to go with full shield. Like, if I decide to invest in the higher tier shield skills, I might switch to full shield on hand. Full offhand shields. That's what I mean. Jesus. Talking hard. It's also really hot. Ugh. It's just, we're right at the time where the summer becomes unpleasant. Okay. Um, Elder calls me friend, indeed. And place a disc in tray. Yes, indeed. Live and drink. Okay. Hey, buddy. Let's let's see. First of all, I want these. And yeah, spacebar doesn't work anymore. I don't know. Can you? Hmm. I 
Okay, you know what? We're gonna get this small stone, which is a grid gauge recoiler. This is probably a grid re gauge recoiler with something else, uh, with a cell in it. We have a Carlite folding hammer. You know what? I'm gonna get that. So we are going to go back to one-handed. That is fine. A compound bow, very nice, and an electro bow, which we already have. Okay. That is good. Oh, it's enter instead of spacebar. Cool, thank you. Oh, stuff like that just throws off my muscle memory. Okay, so we already have a compass brace, but we don't need another one. Um, we don't need the crocosins. I'm gonna keep the miner's helmet. Keep all the other stuff. I don't know if I'm going to keep the Elma stimulators, to be honest. Okay. And that's all the food. All the grenades. I don't have too many glow spheres that we can sell for 420. Nice. Ah, shit. You know what? Um, we do have the... Yeah, let's put on the face. Okay, now, now we can trade better. Um, mm, 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 mm. Let's do that again. Yeah, stuff is a bit cheaper now, which is good. All right, there we go again. Okay, things I definitely need to get rid of. I have way too many copper nuggets. We'll probably also make a stash of this stuff and not carry around at least the copper nuggets and the ingots. Um, let's keep the tattoo gun. Right, let's keep the desert rifle. I will still have one of these. Siphon baton. Steel mace. I got these. We're just gonna collect the water, I think. Um Yeah. Alright. For now. Oh no. Let's get rid of some of this stuff as well. Yeah. 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 Offer. That's a lot of water, but it's fine. Okay. You know what? Examine the grid gate recoiler. Here we go. I'm gonna make the stash and dropper. Not here. Let me see. Grid gate recoiler. Let us install a cell. Just a normal cam cell. Activate. You are transported. No, not. I'm such a genius. I'm so good at everything. You know, thinking, playing. To just recall to grid gate while standing in it is just fantastic moves. It's just, yeah. Pro gaming. You should pay me money for this. Okay, all right. So, um, dread root tubers <laughs> drop, okay. Now we're gonna keep that stuff. That stuff. I'm going to drop these copper nuggets here. If we need them, we can get them. It's fine. Oops. Bronze ingot. We're going to keep the other things here. Uh, I'm gonna disassemble the folding chair. And I'm going to not have a copper nugget here but my carbide folding hammer. I'm gonna remove the electro bow. I'm gonna use the desert rifle for this. And in my right hand, I'm going to put a glow sphere for now. All right, how are we doing? How are we doing? We're doing okay. All right, do you have anything new? Maze beard gland paste, hmm, nice. 
Okay, but you have reset again, so that means that Argive probably also has reset again, so let's take a look at your stock. Item mod liquid cooled. Mm. Thermoelectric cell, vibro dagger, night vision goggles. Huh? Okay, well, that's it, folks. I'm going to be done for today. Thank you for watching. Thank you, ACGX, for raiding. Thank you, Bamba Boozler, for hosting. Thank you to everyone for hanging out in the chat. Um, that was a lot of fun again. And see you soon. Bye-bye.